What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. Hour number two here at the Pro Wrestling Experience on ChicagoLandSportsRadio.com. Uh, you never know who could pop on the show. It could be a last-minute thing, but uh, we're very fortunate to have so many great wrestling personalities and minds in the business. This guy uh, coming up now has been, uh, you guys know him pretty well. His name is Gabe Sapolsky. Give him a follow on Twitter at BookieGabe. Uh, he's part of the WWN Live family, including great promotions like Evolve, uh, Dragon Gate USA, Shine, so many more. Also, uh, uh, being assisted for Paul Heyman in, uh, in ECW, Ring of Honor. If you haven't heard about Gabe Sapolsky, you don't really know that much about pro wrestling. But uh, Gabe's live here on the Pro Wrestling Experience. Gabe, uh, Josh Lopez here in Chicago. How's it going, buddy? Good. Thank you very much for having me on. I appreciate that introduction. I, I thank you very much for that, and uh, I appreciate everyone out there listening, uh, taking a few moments to see what I got to say. So, uh, th- thanks for listening out there. And uh, the Cubs look like they got that magic going on this year, don't they? I think uh, I think this is it. I think this is their year. Yeah, I hope because everybody's uh, kind of uh, headstrong and angry over the Bears, so we need something positive here. <laughs> Uh, so coming up this weekend, uh, I've all got some great shows coming up this weekend in New York City, uh, Queens on uh, on the seventeenth, and of course Deer Park on the eighteenth. Uh, Gabe, uh, tell us a little bit about Evolve if people haven't heard of promotion before, and tell us a little bit about the WWN Live Family. Well, the WWN Live Family, WWN is is the mothership. That's the that's the company, and within WWN we have several brands. We have the Evolve brand. Uh, which we have the shows this weekend. There's FIP, which is a smaller promotion down in Florida. There's Shine, which is an all women's promotion. There's ACW. There's there's Viva La Lucha. There's there's various things under the umbrella of WWN. Um, Evolve is is probably the biggest brand out of it. And um, we uh, we're presenting two live eye pay per views. That's the big thing with us is you can watch all of our shows on live eye pay per view at wwnlive.com. That's wwnlive.com. So this weekend we have two big live eye pay-per-views. Uh, with Evolve, it's, it's, it's different than any other promotion out there in that um, we we concentrate on having about six, seven matches per show, every match meaning something, everything having substance. Uh, we, If you're a fan of technical wrestling, we're for you, although we do present all styles of wrestling. We have uh, a lot of the today's new stars. We, we don't try to promote like these guys as future prospects. They're today's new stars. Um, a lot of the guys in WWE now have come from us, guys like making an impact in NXT, a guy like Apollo Crews, you got Callisto, Luke Harper, Dean Ambrose, um, Seth Rollins was part of the WWE family with, with FIP, uh, and the list goes on and on and on. Um, so um, we're, and, and if you look around, most of the people that are getting signed now from WWE in the last couple of years have come from WWN. So, um a great place to get on board with with all the talent um uh when they're on the independent level and uh just see some great great wrestling and that's what we present there's no bs a lot of great wrestling and um you can watch the shows at wwnlive.com and if you happen to be listening on the internet and you're in the new york area it's queens this saturday long island this sunday and you can go to dgusa.tv that's dgusa.tv for all that info and also for those in the local Chicago area that's seen a lot of our great talents like Matt Cage is going to be there. Uh, Trevor Lee was here this weekend. Also uh, Johnny Gargano for Easton Page. I quit match. Uh, if Gargano loses, he will leave WWN. Uh, that's coming up on Saturday. That's the October 17th show in Queens, uh, Woodside, Queens, New York. Um, Gabe, let me ask you this. So, um, Obviously, a big topic news coming out of Evolve over this weekend is uh, um, Sammy Zink uh, making an appearance at the Evolve show. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about uh, this little? I don't, I don't know if it's like a full partnership or not, but there is there seems to be some synergy with NXT and Evolve, and this seems out of the blue, and I think it's good synergy for the entire pro wrestling landscape as a whole, right? Yeah, there's definitely some synergy going on with us and NXT and and Triple H is a very progressive and very open-minded to things. Um, and I think that the whole NXT brand proves that. I mean, that, that to me has just been a very progressive, cutting-edge uh, thing that WWE has done in, in presenting the style of wrestling that they have on NXT and, and the stars that they have on NXT. And, um, and Triple H's vision for all this is huge, and, and it goes down to evolve. So um, we saw an opportunity to have a win-win situation for everybody, 
Um, they wanted to give us some attention and, and help us out with these shows because they, they realized um, that, uh, you know, a lot of talent has come from us. So they go, okay, well, let's, let's help them out a little bit. Um, obviously, for us, it's a home run because it's put a lot of attention on these shows and, and helped our ticket sales dramatically as well. And I do want to say, because I did push the iPay-per-views and full disclosure that Sami Zayn will not be on the live iPay-per-views. He is, he is just going to be there uh, for the live crowd. But um, it's, it's still going to be awesome shows. But anyways, um, they, we're, how, we're being helped out by having all this attention on our shows. Sammy Zayn was a guy who was sitting at home doing nothing. He was looking to get out of the house and, and take part of something. And, um, <laughs> and because he's, he's out with the injury right now, the shoulder injury. And um, this gives him an opportunity to come out and have some fun at these shows. And the biggest winner, of course, is the fans because now we have something really unprecedented. I mean, the, the most exciting thing in wrestling is when you don't know what's going to happen next. And right now, it, it's, it's kind of given a very special moment having Sami Zayn come to these shows and just raising speculation of what's going on. And, and people ask me all the time, well, is there a deal? What, what's going on with you guys and, and WWE and everything? And really, we're just we're in uncharted waters right now. And we don't know what's going to happen next. <laughs> so it's an exciting time for me. Yeah. You know, I don't know what my next email is going to bring or what my next phone call is going to bring. Um, it's um, it's just a very exciting time, and right now we're we're all on this ride together, and there's no telling what's going to happen next. But I do know it's going to be awesome, and I know it's going to be beneficial to everybody and all of independent wrestling, and it's going to be a lot of fun to to be on this ride all, with everybody all together. So uh, you know, join us, and I promise it's going to be <laughs> it's going to be uh, something wild and and something exciting and, and unpredictable. And and again, we're we're on uncharted waters right now. We're talking to Gabe Sapolsky from uh, Evolve and also the WWN Live family. Uh, give him a follow at Book It Gabe. Um, Gabe, let me ask you this. Uh, obviously, for, as I mentioned in the email, our show likes to promote more of the positivity in uh, in wrestling. I guess it's the only way to stand out in these wrestling podcasts today. And I like to learn from our guests that are on the show. And you've been in the business for a while now and uh, so, so many different avenues and markets inside the wrestling business. I, I always see a lot of people are kind of bitter due to, like, past working relationships not working out or whatever, and they sour their whole taste as a fan of the product after their time in the company's over or whatever. Um, Gabe, you're still in the business today. Uh, are you having as much fun as you did back in the day, or or – are are or do you do have a sour taste on today's wrestling? Yeah, that, that's an excellent question. I, I'm having a great time right now. I'm probably having the best time that I've ever had. Um, I mean, I was with ECW back in the day, and now it's pretty easy because it was. Um, There's really no pressure. I just had to show up and sell programs and you know customer service stuff, and and ECW was a wild time. So that was a lot of fun in my twenties. But um, it, it's it's difficult when you're booking. You know, it, it takes a while to to get where I am right now, and I'm, I'm in a good place as far as understanding how to handle the pressure and handle everything that comes to you. I, I had some difficult times with that back in my Ring of Honor days, and uh, but now I, I feel that I've matured and I feel that I'm in an excellent place, and, and with everything that's going on, the talent roster we have right now makes me extremely enthusiastic. I love working with these guys. We have a uh, not just a, a bunch of super talented people, but they're great people in our locker room. They're, they're hard workers. They want to get better. They want to innovate. They they want to make a name for themselves. And just being around that kind of energy is, is a ton of fun for me. Um, and um, just uh, booking now is is been a, a load of fun. So um, I, I would say I'm I'm having the most fun that I've had in years. And especially with everything that's going on with this WWE thing right now, and and the unpredictable nature of it uh, is just uh, been a blast. But I, I enjoy that ride. I enjoy the roller coaster ride. And you see a lot of uh, big prominent names in the business uh, giving you a stamp of approval. I mean, I seen you in the uh, Paul Heyman uh, documentary it came out a couple years ago. That was great. Obviously, Triple H coming out with some great words in the uh, press conference last week before Takeover. Um, let me ask you this: So you you, you said you're having fun uh, for someone that's in the business that is a booker today. How would you define today's wrestling? Um, I. Right now, it's it, we're kind of at a crossroads where we we're right now like for instance in Evolve, we're trying to feature more of a technical wrestling. But what these guys are doing 
with the submissions that they're doing. It, it's not the technical wrestling that you would have seen five years ago or ten years ago. They're innovating it and taking it to new places and just doing some stuff that just blows my mind. Uh, a guy like uh, Tracy Williams, uh, we actually have up now on our YouTube channel for free, uh, YouTube slash uh, DGUSA dot, spelled out DOT TV, uh, Biff Busey versus Tracy Williams match. And when you see the, the reversals and, and the way that Tracy, the, the stuff Tracy Williams is doing in that stuff to catch the leg is just absolutely mind-blowing to me. And Timothy Thatcher, our champion, um, he just is, is uh, the most comparable thing I've ever seen of Brian Danielson. Uh, of course, he was Daniel Bryan in WWE. And uh, Thatcher is, is, is following up with everything that Brian did on the Indies, but making it his own and doing it completely different. But he, he reminds me of him. Drew Gulak is another name uh, who does all that stuff. And um, it's just, I, I think that it's kind of like moving towards this renaissance of, of this more technical wrestling that's, that's completely modernized while it's still a throwback style at the same time. So I'm really enjoying that. But we also still feature like the high flyers and, and all the other stuff. But, um, you know, uh, the, the talent level now is, is absolutely tremendous. It's, 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 it's extremely high. TJ Perkins is another guy I want to mention. Zach Saber Jr., all these guys, absolutely awesome to watch, completely fresh, um, and just doing really, really original stuff. And, and I'm having a, a blast watching it. It's, 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 uh, as a fan, I enjoy watching this kind of stuff. Uh, SC, one more thing before we let you go, and I thank you for taking your time to come on the show. I know you're a very busy man. A great weekend coming up for Evolve. I mean, the 50th show for Evolve on Sunday. Uh, when you hear that, like you got you guys got a great model beyond on iPayview. You also uh, sell DVDs on the website, uh, dgusa.tv. Um, and you've been in this business for a while. When you when, when it comes to like these big events coming up this weekend, uh, how does it feel in the future of Evolve? You know, 50 shows. It, it goes by fast, but it, it's a blast, right? What, what would you say would be the future of Evolve as we're heading towards the 50th show? The one thing I'm proud of is that Evolve has actually, for lack of a better word, I'm not trying to make a pun here, but it has evolved yeah. over those 50 shows. <laughs> yeah. um, I, I'm really proud of the show format that we do now. I, I feel I kind of reinvented the, the booking with it a little bit. And um, it's, um, it's it, you'll see the progression if you if you've been watching us, and just to get to 50 shows is tremendous. And we owe that all to the support of everybody. It it always sounds I, I almost hate saying it because it sounds like promoters talk, but this is truly from the heart when I say that when you're dealing with a mom and pop operation like us, this isn't anything with any kind of major backing behind us, or yeah. there's no TV corporation behind us, or or sponsors or anything like this. It's literally every single. Ticket, I pay per view, DVD, and now we feature Blu-rays. Every single one of those purchases from from you fans out there, from from anyone listening to this, is what keeps us going and and what makes it possible. And what I I always stress is that when when you do this, we're, we're not just lining our pockets with this money. We we take the money that you spend on the products and we put it back into the promotion to make it better. Like for instance, we just had a nice little run with Zack Saber Jr. from Europe. It's expensive to fly him in. We had to fly him in from Japan for one for one weekend. But what we did is because of your support out there, because of every single ticket, Blu-ray, DVD, merchandise buy, however you support us, is we were able to take that and, and invest it into bringing Zack Sabre into Evolve and making the promotion better for everyone that's supporting it and watching it. It's, it's a great synergy right there. So it's a, it's a huge thank you to everybody who has supported us because we are a mom-and-pop operation. And you've made that happen, and you've gotten us the 50th shows. You've allowed us to recently uh, purchase our in-house Blu-ray equipment so that we're able to, to do that production in-house and catch up on physical media. And uh, you, every improvement we make is because of you and, and your support, and we appreciate that. And before I go, I do want to take a moment, since this is a Chicago-based show, I do want to uh, say a big congratulations to Shimmer, uh, who just uh, celebrated 10 years of running in the Chicago area and really yep. changing the face of women's wrestling. Um, they, uh, I mean, I remember I was with Dave Frazak down in Florida at FIP when he first started talking about doing Shimmer, and I remember that clearly. And uh, I honestly thought he was crazy, but he is, is way ahead of the curve there. And, and now you see, like, NXT really pushing the women's wrestling and, and Shine, the sister promotion of, of Shimmer. Uh, and, um, and you see the influence that Shimmer has had on quality – women's wrestling and, and giving those women a, a forum to really put on great matches. 
So 10 years of that is, is amazing, and a big congrats to them. And I also want to uh, say congrats to AAW, who has really built a, a firm fan base there in Chicago and, um, and has been putting on a lot of shows that I, I've been seeing a lot of buzz for on the Internet. And a lot of the talent there, uh, you'll, you'll see and evolve. Um, you know, Matt Cage, you mentioned in particular, and there's other names as well. So uh, they're doing a tremendous job out there, too. And the, the Berwyn Eagles Club has, has really become the place to be for independent wrestling in the Chicago area. And yep. <laughs> both those companies have built that, so, so they deserve a lot of credit there. Yeah, uh, we have. A, there's a lot of great quality professional wrestling out there. I, I, I'm kind of one of the fans and wrestling media guys that don't like calling it independent wrestling. I don't know. It seems kind of derogatory, to be honest with you. It's just good quality professional wrestling, and it's all over the place. Of course, AEW, a uh, great weekend with All Shim. Uh, they had uh, Jawbreaker this past Friday, and then, of course, the 10th anniversary of Shimmer. Uh, Evolve, of course, coming up this weekend. Uh, Evolve 49 and Evolve 50. You got uh, Saturday show in Queens and Sunday in Long Island. Both of those are eye pay per views. Uh, Gabe, thank you so much for taking your time to come on the show. Um, Let's get to talk to you. Uh, I actually look up to you, and I'm a guy aspiring to be in the business as a broadcaster. I'm glad you uh, surprised me to actually agree to come on, and uh, <laughs> glad to uh, have you on here for the Pro Wrestling Experience. And wish we could do this a little bit longer, but uh, best of luck with the shows this weekend, and hope we can do it again sometime. Thank you very much, sir. I appreciate it.